But I want to read something and I need a little prelude on it. And as Steve doesn't want anything blowing in his ear. It's all right. It's a video, it's all right. Um, well, I've uh, been editor of this online literary magazine about Appalachia. It's called the Nanta Halo Review. And so uh, I had this sort of interest in the Nanta Halo River, which is in North Carolina. And just the word means, does anybody know? So we just around here where the sun only shines like between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Yeah. around where the mountains are so right. high up and everything. Um, and so I met this person at a conference and she started talking about um, her son who had died. And then she, she was a singer and they had uh, written this song about her son and it was called the Nanta Halo. And so I said, I've got to get all of this and put this in my magazine. So if you go to uh, nanahalereview.org, you can actually see um, this poem I wrote that I was about to be out there. But I just say this woman wrote about it. And also this song, Nanta Halo, which I think is just beautiful. So I thought I would play that then I could read my point. I really want some drumming to go with that. Kathy Reed is the name of the woman who wrote this song. And she was in Atlanta. She has like a master's degree in English. She's like a country singer. You know, she has this, all this huge emotional experience that she's had about the loss of her child, and like, I don't know. I feel. I mean, how can I really? I don't even be in the same conversation with her. And so, like, how can people share experience? And I started, you know, getting worried about that. And then I was, wrote this poem, and I felt like, I don't know. We're on the river together. Hmm. And so I'm calling this shapes the Nanta Hala takes, and the river. Right beside the river is the Trail of Tears. Mm. Gotta use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the Native Americans took out of there to go to Oklahoma. Rivers are shaped by the frontiers they flow through. Sounding the Nantahala, you sing its current northward, seeking stillness. From those waveforms, you make metaphors to cope with your losses. Nantahala means sunlight so slight that waters move in darkness except at noon. When I tell you my hurt is just a bit to yours, that my losses have been gradual, I hear you singing the river falling, gorge into gorge alongside the trail of tears, navigating ambiguity in your kayak, your platinum hair arcing like the white water, taking silhouette of the surge, 
eternal pattern where the soul wakes and you intone an unaccompanied elegy rising with the mist of the falls. Rivers of forgetfulness can no more drown moss than fire exploding through pines can burn out the Nantahala. Mm -hmm. I can appreciate your depths because you dropped a grace of 